We're going to show you how to make three rockets. Yeah, two are powered by air. The third one uh, could get a little bit messy because it's a fizzy chemical reaction. It is. So this first one you can do indoors any way you like. And you're going to need a paper straw. If you don't have a paper straw, you can just roll up a piece of paper and make your own tube. Good. Eh? Okay. Then what you want to do is get a strip of paper and then roll it around the end of your paper straw like this. So I've just rolled another piece of paper into a tube so it fits over the end. And then what I've done is I folded that tube of paper over and I've put some sticky tape there. So what I've done is I've created a sealed cap. So if I take this off, what you want to do now is decorate, is decorate your own rocket and stick it to this cap. So here are some that we made earlier. You can see that all I've done is I've just attached the little paper rocket that I drew and I've stuck it to the cap and here we go. The way that these work is you're blowing air up yep. and essentially it gets stuck at the top. The pressure builds at the top of the tube and then eventually it pushes the rocket there up. There we go. So that's your air that's pushing it up. Should we, should we give it a go? Yep. I think we're right, yeah. get, get low, ready. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh no, mine's too yeah. tight. Hang Where's on, mine I've had a failed launch. Go on again. Three, Three two, one. One, blast off. Yes. It hit me on the head. That's design number one. What's design number two, Maddie? Okay, so for design number two and three, we actually went outside and here's what happened. Yes. This is our washing line rocket. If you don't have a washing line, you could take a bit of string and you could put it between two chairs. You could do that inside as well as outside. And then what you're gonna need is a paper straw or a biodegradable straw. Uh, if you don't have a straw, you could use a bit of penne pasta, you know, the tube ones. So you cut a bit of that straw off, you thread it onto your line, you put a bit of sticky tape on it, then you need a balloon. We've actually drawn a rocket design on this balloon. Okay, <laughs> let's blow it up. <gasps> Not too much. <laughs> right, now you need to stick your balloon to your sticky tape. Don't let go of the end. It kind of works best if you do it as close to the end as possible, like that. Okay, so far so good. Now, stand behind it, pull the string nice and tight, and what's gonna happen is when I let go, all the air that's inside this balloon is gonna rush out in this direction. We're gonna get an equal and opposite force in that direction. Okay, all right. Are we ready? Mads, you all set? Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah, that was good. That went well. You could always set up two lines and have a little race and you can refill. Go again. <laughs> Finally, we're making fizzy rockets and for this you're going to need an empty fizzy vitamin tablet tube, two fizzy vitamin tablets and some warm water, that's all you need. So get uh, your two vitamin tablets and break them into four pieces and then you can put those four pieces into oh, the so cap. E each one into two? Yeah, well it doesn't really right. matter, just make sure I'm that you are pushing Two fizzy vitamin tablets. I say it. I can't put make that a mess. In. That's okay. <laughs> Once you've loaded your cap with your fuel, you want to get your empty tube. Here we go. Thanks. And fill it to a quarter. So that's about there with warm water. We've already done that with ours. And of course, decorate them like rockets if you want to. Mine is called Gassy Galactic. Oh, and mine upside down right now, but it's called the Fizzy 2 because you're using two fizzy vitamin tablets. All that's left to do is put the cap onto the tube turn it upside down and we should have lift off. But why is that going to happen? Well, the fizzy vitamin tablets will react with the warm water and they'll release a gas called carbon dioxide. But that gas doesn't have anywhere to go because it's inside a sealed tube. So the pressure will build and build and build until the gas forces its way out, pushing the lid down and the rocket up. Or at least that's what should happen. Should we do it? Yeah. Okay, here goes. Okay, go. Gassy Galactic Three. ready for launch. And then lean back. No! <laughs> Why is my not no. going? Oh, that one was so good. Yours went so much higher. That was amazing. That went really well. <laughs> Better right in there, which is what we love.